No, I can't start this interview without saying, what's up, Lee Bailey? Like, it's all about the pioneers. It's all about the forefathers. It's all about the people I grew up listening to Lee Bailey on Radio Scope. Lee Bailey here, the creator and host of the legendary entertainment program, Radio Scope. What's up, guys? You're watching EUR Web. I'm your host, Monique Loveless, and we just hit the red carpet for AFCA, the African American Film Critics Association Awards. And we got to talk to all the people you want to see, so make sure you stay tuned. What are you excited about tonight? I'm excited about The Last Black Man in San Francisco, which is a film that I am in on A24, but it's, of course, I'm a microcosm in the film, but it's an amazing film that I think every black man in America should see. I am excited about presenting Jamie Foxx, his Best Supporting Actor uh, Award, because I think he really deserves it. I think Just Mercy. He's so good all the time, and I feel like he doesn't always get the recognition that he deserves. What else can we do to make sure that our community starts to see the creative work that we do? Uh, you can support those movies, those projects that come out. You know, instead of uh, getting on Twitter and talking about why a person shouldn't see a movie or support a performer, uh, you know, you should come together and support and find out, find reasons why people should go out and support. Tell me how it feels to be Oscar nominated. It's insane. Uh, you know, obviously it's like a weird year because, you know, there's not a lot of us that are being honored um, at that award show. But, you know, it's, I'm, I'm just as happy to be here and represent with my folks at the African American Film Critics Association Awards. And, you know, it's like a dream. Like, it's all it just doesn't even feel real. <laughs> right. What project are you looking forward to next? Well, I just finished Coming to America 2. That was with Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. Tracy Morgan, we just had a, a marvelous time. It was long, it was hard, it was big. And so now I'm looking for a rest, you know, a staycation, right. and maybe to develop some of my own personal interest in producing and writing. And I feel like I want to tell more stories. What does hashtag Black Girl Magic mean to you? Oh, hashtag Black Girl Magic means standing in who you are getting really comfortable with that and knowing that you have a story to tell in a way that only you can tell it and that people are waiting for you to be a leader in raising your hand, charging and getting um, your life done. Well, Black Girl Magic means power, beauty, vulnerability, strength. I am yeah. the owner of Liquid Soul okay. in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, nice. And we were one of the first film advertisers with EUR Web. Okay. Well over 15, 16 years ago, we were doing tons and tons of films uh, with EUR Web. Uh, and we would bring all types of properties and uh, email programs and uh, online advertisement, right. the whole right. nine. Oh, I think, yeah, just to being able to see uh, people that inspire me. I, I knew you saw Mike Tyson earlier and I almost tripped out. Um, huge fan, huge fan of Mike Tyson. What's your question to him? I don't know. Uh, have you ever been punched and has it hurt? Because it doesn't look like he's ever been hurt in boxing. I'm presenting an award to uh, Clarence Avon, okay. uh, presenting the Game Changer Award to him. Um, super honored to do it because he's a mentor to me. Uh, done a great deal for me in my life, so I'm very honored to present this award to him. Lee Bailey, he set the he set the tone. A lot. Like I wouldn't be standing here right now talking about the 11th annual Afro Awards if it weren't for Lee Bailey. That's just real talk.